animals uh, have a set of rights, not necessarily the same or identical set that humans have. That's one misconception some people have sometimes. But that because they are beings who are sentient, who feel, uh, who have interests, um, just like us, then therefore that the realm of uh, rights, that kind of legal protection should be extended to them. Um, because otherwise, um, like other vulnerable beings, they are subject to all kinds of abuse and mistreatment and oppression. So the rights movement to me is, is really about um, extending uh, sort of protections, legal protections, um, you know, whether that be legislation passed or being able to sue on behalf of an animal, for example. Um, and so that, that's why I think that that particular language can be very useful. Animal rights. Um, I guess it, it, it's it's all about that animals have the right to exist and to be treated humanely, and they are not things; they're beings. Right to life, a right against uh, confinement. You know, any kind of unnecessary uh, confinement, and against physical torture and abuse. Those are the main ones. New York, 1800s. The world was a dangerous place for animals, and only a few people were really aware of the cruelty occurring. One of these people was Henry Berg, a man with a big fortune and even bigger compassion. And he had a great idea, an idea that would change the face of animal rights and change how they would be treated for years in the future. His idea was to found the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. When Henry Berg founded ASPCA in 1866, he started an exploration into a whole new world of animal rights. As he encountered people and organizations abusing animals, he exchanged his ideals of animal rights with them, bringing a new awareness to the abuse and rights of animals by rescuing them and defending them in court. The, the, when he started, it was because he saw a horse being beaten in the street and um, decided that, that that was kind of the impetus for him to start taking action. Fortunately, since Henry Berg was a wealthy and respected man, people listened to him. He got signatures for his Declaration of the Rights of Animals, which led to the founding of the ASPCA on April 10, 1866, heavily influenced by England's RSPCA. No nationwide laws had been passed to help animals until nine days after the ASPCA was founded. The ASPCA was already working hard to make change happen, and soon they had succeeded. The American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals was the first animal humane society in North America. Henry Berg was an explorer of his own class. His exploration was not into jungles or a brave new world, but an exploration into the humane movement, specifically for the abuse of animals and children. Before Mr. Berg's adventure into animal rights began, no one thought or cared about animal rights. Animals were whipped and starved and abused daily, and were seen as no more than belongings. Any being that has the capacity to suffer, any being that has interests in its own happiness, and it can feel, and, right, and can, can have, it has emotions, we do have a responsibility. So the question is not can they think, not can they talk, but can they suffer? And if a being can suffer and we have compassion and empathy because we know what it's like to suffer, um, then absolutely we have a responsibility to care and to help them. Mr. Berg tried to end this apathy by founding ASPCA, which was a success. The founding of ASPCA inspired many dignitaries to sign the Declaration of the Rights of Animals. During his struggle for animal rights, Henry Berg encountered many people, he figured that to kill the indifference surrounding animal rights, he had to be a hands-on reformer. Henry encountered many people and much opposition while founding and leading ASPCA, including slaughterhouses, dog fighters, animal abusers, and important political figures to spread his ideas. These encounters were vital to his mission of animal rights. Henry Berg's legacy is one of empathy, ambition, and hard work. Henry founded the first Northern American Humane Society, April 10, 1866. This founding directly affected the lives of animals all across the East Coast.
by creating a safe home and recovery center for abused animals. The many other short-term impacts Henry Berg and the ASPCA had on animal rights stem from his intervening in any animal abuse he saw, Henry Berg's direct involvement in any animal or children abuse cases to arise, the letters Henry Berg would send to anyone he heard was abusing animals, the newspaper articles about his work, the impassioned speeches he would give on the streets of New York, and the presentations he would give in elementary schools across New York. April 19, 1866. With the backing of Henry Berg and the ASPCA, the first anti-cruelty law was passed, and throughout his life and work with ASPCA, Henry Berg got many other laws and declarations passed, including the revised Statute L. 1867, Chapter 375, Sections 1 through 10, which made punishment for abusing animals much more severe. The ASPCA also inspired the founding of many other humane societies across North America, including at least 25 that were modeled closely after it. These long-term impacts of Henry Berg's work, the laws he got passed, and the humane societies he carved a pathway for are still affecting animal rights today. The founding of ASPCA launched a fight for animal rights, an uphill battle still alive today. Henry Berg's work with ASPCA and the exposure he brought to animal rights issues saved the lives of countless animals and had a long-term impact on laws for animal rights. Henry Berg started an exploration into a whole new world of animal rights. As he encountered people and organizations abusing animals, he exchanged his ideals of animal rights with them, bringing a new awareness to the abuse and rights of animals. Henry Berg's legacy and ideas are still inspiring people today, and inspiring change for not only animals, but changing the compassion of humans and the way we look at them. 2016. The world is a safer place for animals, thanks to the work of Henry Berg and the countless people who believed in him.